and it says a boat's crew rowed 10.5 miles downstream with a current in 1.5 hours. The return trip upstream, going against the current, covered the same distance but took 3.5 hours. So what we're looking for is the crew's rowing rate and in still water and also the rate of the current. So how fast can they row in still water and what's the rate of the current? So those are the two unknowns. So let's label them. Let's let x equal the rowing rate in still water and let's let y equal to the rate of the current, the two things we're looking for. Now we're dealing with you know, problems uh, that deal with distance. Rate times time equals distance is the formula that we're going to use to come up with our equations. So let's see how what we have. We know that the rate that they row downstream, that's how fast they're traveling downstream, times the time it took them to go downstream, which they told us is 1.5 hours, is equal to the distance. Well, it says they rowed 10.5 miles downstream. So the, how fast are they traveling when they're going downstream? Well, we don't know exactly, but we know that if they travel x miles per hour in still water, you add on the rate of the the current. You combine those two to get their rate downstream. So that's the rate of travel downstream plus the time it took 1.5 hours is equal to the distance. Okay, so that's a, an equation that gives us the rate uh, times time equals distance for the downstream trip. Now going upstream, well, we know it took them 3.5 hours to get back upstream to cover the same distance. The rate upstream, however, they're going against the current. So what you do is you take their rate in still water and you subtract off the rate of the, the current because it's slowing them down. So that's their rate times the time it took them to make the trip and the distance. So those are our two equations, uh, x plus y times 1.5 is equal to 10.5, and x minus y times 3.5 is equal to 10.5. So those are the two equations. They, they look a little different than what we've seen in the past because of the parentheses. And actually what we can do to make our work a little easier, notice how the first equation is x plus y times this 1.5, I'll move it out to the front, is equal to 10.5. We can make work a little easier, make the work easier by dividing that constant out so we get him out of the way. So see, that cancels out. And what we're left with is this equation that looks like this. On the left side we have just x plus y. On the right side we have 10.5 divided by 1.5 which is equal to 7. So the first equation is going to be just that. We can do the same thing with the second equation, which was x minus y times the 3.5, which is write it out in front, uh, is equal to, well, let me make that a little more legible, it's going to be 3.5 times x minus y is equal to 10.5. Again, let's divide out the constants, so we have 3.5 over here and 3.5 over here so that those 3.5s cancel. So this equation turns into x, well, I don't need the parentheses anymore, turns into x minus y is equal to, and 10.5 divided by 3.5 is equal to 3. So now we're dealing with two much easier equations. x plus y is equal to 7, x minus y is equal to 3. And we'll use substitution, so what we can do is solve this equation for y, which means I'm going to do that by subtracting x from both sides, so I get y is equal to 7 minus x. All right, take that expression for y and plug it into the second equation, which come down to the second page here. So I get x minus y is equal to 3. That's going to become x minus... 7 minus x is equal to 3. Carry the negative through the parentheses. Negative goes all the way through. Negative times negative makes it a 
plus x is equal to 3. So uh, combine our like terms, and we get 2x. And this, while we're at it, kick this negative 7 over to the other side, add 7 to both sides. So we get 2x is equal to 10, which means that x is equal to 5. Well, what was 5? What was x anyway? x, remember, was the rowing rate. Say that real fast. It's not easy to do. The rowing rate in still water. Okay, so this is x miles per hour in still water. Fine, now we want to find the rate of the current. Well, we can find the rate of the current by going up to this uh, equation here, y is equal to 7 minus x, which was derived from this uh, first equation in the system of equations. So y is equal to 7 minus x becomes y is equal to 7 minus 5, which is equal to 2. Well, remember, 2, this is miles per hour, which is the rate of the current. Okay, so the two things we were looking for, how fast they travel in still water, 5 miles per hour, and what's the rate of the current? That was 2 miles per hour.